This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my very articulate co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Benny Ak. Articulate. I like that. One. <laughs> right, I like that. I like that. Articulate. Um. Yeah, you know, man. Sometimes, like, how articulate can you be? Hey, I right. do. <laughs> But, <laughs> you like but how you ladies do? No, I like it. I mean, if you say mm -mm. articulate, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> because I like to articulate my thoughts. Mm. You know what I mean? I, I like to it articulate some. Uh, I said you are no thank, more dear. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, <laughs> okay, let's start with Kylie Jenner. Um, she's accused of scamming for selling tanking cosmetic um, company. According to an online report, her cosmetics empire allegedly isn't as successful as it's claimed. The 22 year old recently sold majority of Kylie's cosmetics stake to Cotty Inclination, Incorporated, which now owns 51% stake in the company. Kylie and her mother are accused of faking reports about the company's sales profits, including the published the ones published on Forbes to make it look good before selling the company hmm. Hmm. you know I don't know how to react to the story mm. um, because for, for a company like uh, the company that bought in shares in, in um, well in um, what's her name now Kylie. Kylie's company the, the due diligence you meant to follow um, I've been privy to a company wanting to buy off another company, there's a whole lot that is involved. You just don't walk in as I want to buy you, okay, how much are you guys worth and okay, this is how much I want to buy. You know, um, company who are, who are, who are, who are listed on, on, on the stock exchange, you find, you go, you go in there to make your, your due diligence, you get lawyers involved, lawyers of both companies, you need papers, you, you know, there, there's a whole lot of process. So my question is, didn't they ask, didn't they call for all of these things? You know, again, you I could see that's a small... Oh, yeah, that's uh, I, I think the documents were forged. Yeah, yeah. I think the are I don't wrong. think Chris Jenner would go to that extent. Yes, I know she could be very, very um, shrewd as a businesswoman, but to not start forging documents. May maybe the stats were not exactly what it was. But the company should be blamed for not doing their due diligence. I mean... Um, and one of the things I, I had a problem with when Kylie, they, they said Kylie was a billionaire, I was really bothered. I'm like, okay, what made her a billionaire? Is it by being on, keeping up with the Kardashians? Because I don't know how many Nigerians actually use a product or how many people yeah, of color really use, use a product. product. Even Americans yeah. don't really use her products. Pro um, and it's arguable, but I guess we didn't really, you, just because I don't see somebody using the product doesn't mean that the they're product. not using the product. But all the reviews I saw, I remember when Kylie, especially the latest one, the scrub that came out, people were actually telling them to shut it down because she had walnuts and it was bad for your skin, but she promised it's soft and blah, blah, blah. So there was all that scandal, but um, America is such a culture-driven place that um, Kylie's product didn't really have that much significance. But still, there's still white people that you can with people, cater. With people of color, right? Yeah. Black, yeah. Um, uh, but when Rihanna didn't get into that list, like the article that brought this out, when she didn't get into that list, it's kind of worrying because she has her music, she also has Fendi Beauty, and she's not even in that mil millionaire she's status. Not a so it makes me wonder, like, yeah. what is it that is getting you there? The case is still ongoing. I mean, even the purchase is still ongoing, like the deal that they're having. Yeah. So for me, it's like, not really a big thing. Would I call her a scammer? No, I don't think so. I would say so. <laughs> I, 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 I would say that. I would, I would say, maybe not, maybe scam is not the word, but I know they do that in business where you package yourself more than you this really are. This is packaging. This is inflating. So, um, I mean, it's, it's not, um, they're not bringing out this information um, with how, how people say with their chest now. Yeah. They're pushing it out gradually for people to just know what is going on. Yeah. But I don't think, like you said, if Ariana did not make that list, yeah. um, then even when she was on the list, it's it just that when you start questioning these things, people start saying, is it, are you, you hating? Yeah. You don't, you have poverty mentality and all that. But the numbers should do justice I'm, I'm not categorically saying that i believe that she forged this but i'll just relate it back um to what we've been saying about um the perception of people on social media mm. so i remember what, there was time we had this conversation and we were saying that the kardashians have been able to make um, some level of um, um, good living from social media. Yes, of course, they still do, but um, this goes to show that there's a lot of make-believe, yeah. even from the top to the bottom. So yeah. it should be about you, your space, and what works for you. And then I think we also have to start to hold 
Forbes a lot more accountable. I was going to get there, so. Yeah. Because this is not the first time. This is not the second time. Yeah. This is not the third time. For an organization time. like FERB, they know. should do due diligence before mm -hmm. you just put things out there. Uh, I mean, the really... arguments have always remained the same, that they are not in academic reports. Mm -hmm. They are not. It's a magazine yeah. that focuses well, regardless, on. Regardless, it has. But they're not. They, doing, and they know now that. People outstanding things, you know what I mean? Sometimes they even put people in the bracket of billionaires who are not necessarily billionaires because they, they are astounding in their crap, their chosen field and endeavors. And I think you're right, we should, Forbes should be held accountable to some extent. I mean, you just don't put out anything there and because you're Forbes, people will just naturally just consume it because it's Forbes. You feel, you know what, they, 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 they occupy some kind of authority as a yeah. premise. I don't, a, think, it's, I don't think it's like the opposite. You know? Like, I felt like when they started it, they didn't see themselves as Forbes and they still kept the same standard in terms of um, reporting. Yes. And now that they are now Forbes, they need are to step more, up their they, game. Yes, they need to be. They need to understand that now that they are more accountable and need to just do better in terms of like researching. And I, you kind of tell me that they don't have the resources to do that. Mm. They've put fraud stars on there. They've put that's like. That's what I'm saying exactly. That's why this is coming as a surprise that they're claiming um, scamming. It's not scamming. They should have done due diligence. There, there's a whole lot of books you call for. Well, it can be scamming if you're changing the numbers though. Well, if they can prove that, then hey. Oh, you know, for a Forbes, and so it's I'm still thinking, not a deal, if you want it? to put it, it someone like Kylie on your list, all you probably just do is ask request for documents to back this up, to back this mm. up, to back That's this it. up. You're not going to hire a private investigator to be sure that the books are in order, yeah. the course that you want to be on Forbes. So, which is why I'm still very skeptical numbers, when we're the saying we have too. to hold them accountable because if you, the best they can do is to request for your documents yeah. and they're going to look at what you give them. Yeah. Basically. So if you inflated yeah. the number, they're not going to know. All they know they're is it works on paper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I'm talking about the company. That, that oh, yeah. That bought the, the, the mm -hmm. 54 right. American right. equity from, mm -hmm. from, from, right. from, 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 from yeah. That also speaks to you know. the influence Forbes has because mm -hmm. if I am a, a, a part of that company, the fact that she is on Forbes and has been going gives everywhere some of, yeah. gives some type of trust. I feel like, yeah. oh, okay, we're dealing with Kylie. Yeah. She's been on Forbes. She's been profiled by so many media platforms. So she'll definitely be telling us yeah, the truth. Yeah, because having that public integrity is definitely a bonus. Forbes is a big deal, though, I got to say. Yeah, because it is. Because they, they project you larger than life because I've seen many of one of these young people, um, Forbes, 30, 30, Well, 30, they are not projected as you know, billionaires or millionaires. They're just recognized for the effort yeah, they're doing. That's yes. like the impression people get of it. Oh, wow, you know, like yeah, of course. Forbes, like, oh, mm. I'm sorry, some of Never mind, I shouldn't Let's say this. Thank you. I, I, I feel like I know where you're going to, but can we swallow it? Okay. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Organizers of the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival has postponed um, event until October over coronavirus. The festival, which had been planned in two weekends installments, April 10 to 12 and April 17 to 19, will now take place six months later. Um, that's October 9 to 11 and October 16 to 18. Mm. I guess everywhere and everybody is feeling the yeah, impact I, I, of the yeah. same virus. Yeah. Sense, sense of responsibility for, um, for humanity. That's that's what I'm going to call it. Beyond beyond the ticket sales, beyond the fun people are going to have, you got to consider, you know, um, human welfare beyond whatever it is you want to do. They even have to and, consider themselves as well. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> you know, then again, so you have to be yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. When, when I read this, my question is, I brought it back home. I mean, why do we still have people gathering? We we'll see how public gardens going uh, on. Like, we would now. We don't you know, have a case there like will, that. There, there yes, will but you, you never can tell already. Where, where there's a second confirmed case already. Well, if you have, you know, if you have to, a controlled gathering yeah. or a gathering that is possible for you to control, so yeah. you're expecting 200 people in mm. a hall. That is fair enough. Yeah. You're expecting even 500 in a hall. That yeah. is fair enough. But Coachella. And the problem well, with Coachella yeah, half, is that it's million, not, it's not even just the people. community that comes in. I would feel free to go people in a from, gathering from of Nigerians countries. because we don't really have cases we of, have we don't have any case of a Nigerian having coronavirus. No, the, sec um, the second confirmed case is, is, a, is a Nigerian, someone would, would have said had contact with the Italian man. And you know, thank you for bringing this up. Up we to now, we don't know the Italian, Italian man, man right? we don't know his face, but Quickly, they put out the name of I a smell, Nigerian. I smell some. I like. Some I like. Are we kidding? I'm trying are, are you not guys to say kidding what me? I want to say. You know, but quickly, the name it's of okay. a Nigerian who who is who is a, a second suspected um, case. case of coronavirus. Suspected. His name was put out there, and not the Italian man who seemingly brought in the virus into the country. As if it's an Italian man. Let's see. It's time for a break. <laughs> but when we return, we have more to discuss.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Music is for mature-minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Nigeria will never be better. And mm. this is not coming from me. It's coming from, um, they call him Dubai social media sensation now, right? Hush Poppy. Mm. He made a statement in a reaction to the dethronement of the former CBN governor as the emir of Kano. He said, I think this is the beginning of the end of Nigeria and it is happening right before our very eyes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, and like I always ask, where is the lie? Where is the lie in what Hush Puppy just said? You know, um, Sanusi Lamido II was a very outspoken man. Even when, we, we, Nobody can deny the, the fantastic job he did while he was governor of CBN. Mm -hmm. uh, today, the so-called um, uh, cashless policy when during the economy were part of the reforms he brought into the CBN with a whole lot of other reforms he made in the CBN. You know, and then for people to just sit back um, and politicize everything because I have a personal vendetta with you, you don't like my face or you mm. feel I'm speaking up against you know, your, go your government, um, you now use that as a means to you to dethrone me, to depose me. It's worrisome. And this same Gandhi J was the same Gandhi J that no, was on camera. camera, I mean, collecting bribe. Right. Mm. I mean, I'm like, what's wrong with our moral compass? I mean, mm. th that case has been swept under the rug. Nobody said anything about it. And then there you are, deposing the man who is speaking up for society, for, for his own region, where he comes from, to be better. Sanusi has always spoken out for the North. I don't want to say against the North, but against so many social vices and ills that being happens. committed in the North by the North so that they can be better for it. Mm. Recently, he spoke about the quota system, how that has become, you know, the bane of the North's um, backwardness. And that it's time they not begin to arise. Even so, they're going to self-destruct. Yeah, he was also the one you know? who talked about the when we talk about um, Nigeria being um, we are now the poverty capital, right? Oh, yeah. But if we talk about that, then most of the um, poor but people are actually from, from, from the, the north. north. You know, all of that yeah. from the north. You know, the Amadres, the, the the poverty. The, the, um, we have up, up close the to terrorism, about um, mm -hmm. how many? Illnesses. About yeah, we have about 13 mm -hmm. million children out of school in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. About 14 million. About 13 of those. 14 are from the north, mm. you know, and so Hosh Poppy couldn't have said it any better than he did. Um, without any reservation about what people feel about him, he just mm. said it right. Um, it's unfortunate what happened to Sanusi Lamido II, but it, this is Nigeria. Mm. I, I also hope that we can begin to pay more attention for those that are working in that space to our constitution because sometimes most of the things they do, they find a clause which they have deliberately kept in that constitution for themselves yeah. to be able to perpetrate whatever evil they want to perpetrate. Well, so it's, it's sickening to know that a governor can dethrone someone like the emir, right? And if you want to argue, they'll tell you it is in the constitution. It's, he can, it's, he's within his rights as long as he has um, found him to be insubordinate or whatever English it yeah. is, but this is supposed to be the emir, this is supposed to be the traditional ruler, right? So I, I, I feel like most times when we just are uncomfortable with whatever is going on in the country, we need to go back to the drawing board to say what exactly do we have yeah. in our constitution? Uh, um, I, I, I think people already actually do that, and it's just a lot harder mm -hmm. to beat the system. Because of the kind of people... And, yeah, I think we're mm -hmm. a lot more vicious to good than bad. Yeah. Um, we support bad and we eat the good people alive. Uh, I have seen that on so many levels. People who are in politics that have either lost their lives, lost, lost their, their safety, their peace of mind when they actually try to do good. Um, I said it when we were, I, I don't remember what topic it was, and it was, oh, when the, the girl with the dressing. Mm -hmm. And I said, it's like, Nigerians just don't want to progress. It's like, oh, this is progress, progression. No, 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 we don't want it. We want it to be like this. 
Um, it's sad for me. It's very sad. I going 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 abroad. I always held on to Nigeria. That I, at least I was part of something. And then coming back, it's like I don't really have anything to hold on to. In fact, I don't even want to hold on to it because what he's saying, if it's true, which it is, unfortunately, then we're not seeing change in a very no. long very long time, long time. and that's heartbreaking. So mm. even your our kids are not going to see that change. Maybe their kids' kids will probably see that change from, from what we are talking about, the realities of what we're seeing here. It's super scary. And there's no accountability, except we go sell Nigeria to somebody else to take over. Let that change. You know, <laughs> change the name, scrap mm -hmm. everything. It's just okay. really sad. But however, there's an update to that. So um, it was in the news late yesterday that he got another appointment in Can no, in Kaduna to be part of Kadip on the board of Kadip. Now, the question now is, people are saying... Um, Sanusi should play on the federal level, that he has a whole lot you know, more to offer uh, than just walking was, around Kaduna. I was one of the few Nigerians, or many Nigerians, who were very um, taken aback when he became the Emil Kano, when he, when he took to, to, to that appointment. Because I, I felt, you know what, you are of presidential value. Yeah, you a lot of people don't, felt that way too. You can't put yourself in the position you're about to put yourself, but this is it. It's what happened. You you woke up one well, day and realized dream, actually. that's it, yeah. and that uh, you know realize that you, you come from this mighty that you dynasty, that dream. and your father, I, your father was your father was you know. I, I just feel like um, if you really are thinking about the people and not policies now, because that, that's a different cause. You have to do traditional um, leadership. Mm. That's the most effective way to influence. Nigerians but um, individually, but unfortunately, they don't have that much autonomy or power, and that is why. Yeah, that's that's why he's that playing out. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. For His them own to, focus, it, yeah. I think, was yeah, for them to actually do this. It means that he was hitting them yes. hard yes, yeah. he where they couldn't bear <laughs> yes, it, yeah. and they had yeah. to. Because I remember one of his conversations where he was saying that they wanted to go to the people to say, "Calm down." Don't fight. Things will be okay. But they don't want you to discuss the root cause of the issue. Yeah. So you are going to China, for example, to take a loan for what? To build light rail. For who? Mm. You're not taking loans because you want to get education for these people no. or build schools. Like, have you seen the schools in the north? Mm. Like, it's, it is it is painful to watch sometimes, right? And we're only and as strong as our weakest link. Do you understand? So, so the fact that he's hitting them and speaking up each time is one of the reasons they're doing this. And I think he's made his impact there. They didn't allow him to do as much as he could have done. But do I think he should take up Kaduna? Well, that's his personal decision. Yeah, he would but have I to feel, say that, I feel I like we need him on a federal level. We need him on the federal. That's it. Yeah. We need him on the federal level. He's, he's presidential material, and maybe I, I hope I don't know if he knows this ambition, but I think Sanusi would definitely bring a whole lot of um, economic, Change. social reforms mm. if he if he's in that position. Yeah. If he's given that position, and if he ever comes out and say he wants to run for president, I mean he, he has the, the backing mm. of millions of Nigerians. Mm -hmm. mm. That's if they allow him. Yeah, because mm. of our party system. Oh yeah. Right? Okay, let's move on to the next story. Don't let greed, jealousy, poverty define you. This is coming from Nollywood actress Victoria Nyama. In an Instagram post, she said, do not let anyone define you. Our roots have all already done that in the most complicated ways. You can change that. We are all infinitely um, complex beings. We should not be our jobs or diagnoses or anything of sorts. Always define yourself in a realistic, expansive way so that we clearly see when others are trying to define us in their own terms or in relation to what they want us to be. Um, it's a lot, but I think those are the key um, part of her. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, like, I like the word um, in the, in the, always define yourself in a realistic, expansive way, in a progressive way, in an open minded way. And in the life of me, I don't even know. I've, I've been Victoria Yama was one of those queen goddesses that grace our screen. I mean, those are the first mm -hmm. queens of Nollywood. Um, all of a sudden, she just she just vanished. Like nobody yeah, had anything from her. She decided to focus on other things. You know, and yeah. um, it's that, that's much pressure that society put on people. And if you're not one who is strong in yourself, and you've been able to at uh, least maybe on your journey to self discovery, you found out a, a great part of you that will keep you always stable and and level-headed, you always get swayed by things that come up every day because the things out there every single day. And things that really don't matter, second. even That's when it. they seem like they it, matter yeah. in yeah. You know, so the smaller picture. You begin to lose focus of what really you should be paying attention to. So I see, I see a generation focusing on what they should necessarily be focusing on and you know, leaving aside what really does matter. And mm -hmm. it's worrisome. 
You know, um, growing up, there, there were a lot of values my, my, my parents instilled into us. And these days, it doesn't matter any longer. Mm -hmm. And people will actually tell you, just leave people to do whatever they want to do. And, and that is why it's okay, we can have robbers on our street because leave them, let them rob, yeah. let them do whatever they want to do. <laughs> <laughs> you know? um, let me defend my millennials. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we're please. We're not thieves. We're not we're that, not like we're that. Not that no, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm not saying they are. You know, because it's still in this, let people do what they want to do. People tell you it's let okay for them to be Let people do what they stars. want to do, you know absolutely. What I mean? But it okay. doesn't mean that they should do things that are wrong. But it's still us doing what we need to do. If I want to collect somebody's money, it's what I want to do. Don't you get it? I, I mean, um, that's what I want to do. I don't think that's what anyone do. is talking yeah. about, but... Um, I no, it goes with that saying. Mm, let people no, do what they want to no, do. No, I think it's I, I think it's very different. I, I, I think the the statement is not the problem. It's the it's the person's listening ears as a problem. And I, sorry, you, I also think that comes into play when they're talking about um, personal decisions that have got to do with an individual alone. So a person says, yes. "I don't want to get married," and you are bothered. Yeah. A person says, "I'm not attracted to man. I'm attracted to woman." Yeah. 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 A person so says, those, "I want to be a fro we're frosted." As a person says, "I want to be frosted." But you see, that's it. It does not play with that because that's it. No, no, even if it's not moral. It. Yeah, it is illegal. Yeah. So, so the uh, law cannot, should yeah. do the job. Mm. Yeah. True but it's, still, it's it's illegal for people. But to are you be, saying that in your generation people right? didn't yeah. actually yeah. fraud, like do scamming? Like that has nothing to do with the statement. And I think that that statement in is that very... generation was when four one nine. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 that yeah, was even thought of. Let's not try to make it this bad because it's just because it was on social media. You can't really say it because it was on social media, so it wasn't in our faces. Yeah. But was I in an environment where I saw a lot of them and they were the big deal and they're like ah the four that people are co is coming to this restaurant today. I mean, we all grew up around yeah. them, so we know. I mean, I like her statement, but for me personally, I think it's always good to know where you are right now. Mm. Um, I think that really... I'm not. I'm not anything else. I'm not yesterday's Ife. I'm not tomorrow's Ife. I am Today. Ife right now. Yeah. So... It, it sounds nice, but I, I still think I need to know that, okay, I, right now my account is broke, so I am broke. And then that would affect how I'm going to make a decision tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I, where, where I can gain from her is where she's saying, with your thinking and not your reality, because those are two different things. Yeah. With your thinking, you can, I like the word that she used, expansive. Mm -hmm. yeah, expansive um, yeah. It's very easy to be crippled by where I am today, but it's just as important to know where I am today. So those two color colorations are very powerful. Like I know that, okay, my bank account doesn't look very sweet now, and then my expansive mind helps me to get to where I want to be. I can agree to that, but I'm always very careful um, about when people start to advise like that. Like, don't care about where you are. Don't care about the haters. Don't care about the. No, 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 no. I think you should care. I think you should take a, a step back. But about then, the that, should that then consume you? No. But is there a, a need to evaluate and like really examine? And how can you do that if you are only digesting your own information, like mm. your own self? Reasoning, like it's not like, gonna yeah. work. You need to yeah. take everybody's thing into perspective, see the bad, see the good, and then digest. You know the the real stuff. You, you know, I think I think she, when 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 people say um, don't care about what people say, it's not necessarily you not caring about what they say. It's and not say not, don't care letting, about what people say. Not letting them um, put a stop gap to what it is you want to achieve or what it is you want to do. Like I hate to worry. The water outside right. the ship does yeah. not affect when, the when, I, mm. I mean, we, we, all, we all go through stuff every mm. single day. But you still day, need you know? the water so, to, you yeah. know, save. Um, we go through uh -huh. stuff. Every human being goes through stuff. We have something everybody's dealing with. But this is me. I don't focus on that. And I mean, uh, because each time I do, it puts me in a state I don't want to be. So mm. I'm thinking solution. I'm thinking, okay, hey, I'm thinking outcomes. This is what I want. This is how I want to see these turn out at the end of the day. You know, and yeah, talking about um, don't focus on haters. I mean, sometimes we have imaginary haters. I don't... People you just, just people, you don't even have one at but all. Anyway, so focus I, I, on I, you I, and, yeah. and do what you need to do to make yourself better. Like you rightly said, I, I bother a lot of time when, sorry, it's me. Um, you don't read, you, you're, not, you're, not, you're not improving in your IA, your, 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 um, your AI, your artificial intelligence. You're not improving on your emotional intelligence. What, then what exactly are you doing to ensure that you know, your present reality is going to improve, it's going to be better? Right. <laughs> because you gotta, put in, you gotta put in some work, you gotta do some stuff to help expand it. You, know, you need to do some stuff, there's some work you need to do to make tomorrow better. So if you're here today and you don't like your reality and you're not making any effort that will improve on tomorrow, mm. you'll come into tomorrow and what your reality now is going to be your reality tomorrow. So mm. many people are not putting in the work to make their life any better. They're just wishing, wishful thinking. It, it never got anybody better. 
Yeah, I like when you said um, that you should know where you are right now yeah. because I think knowing where you are is very important and also understanding the dynamics of where you are and mm, where you want to content, be. Yeah. So if you are in a particular place, you need to find a purpose for that place you're in and not be the person that can be easily swayed for little things or things like i said earlier that looks nice when you're looking at it in the smaller yeah. um image of it but when it gets to the bigger picture it's actually very relevant mm. so um just really know yourself know where you are accept your flaws i know i say this a lot mm. um it might seem um, um like it's not necessary but if you do not accept your flaws that is the only time mm. that when people say things about you it gets to you i yeah. mean if i know for example that i'm short mm. and you think that is what you want to use every time to torment me i can even help you sing the chorus mm. else is a short girl do you understand so it, of course that's like very flimsy even though it's a deep thing for some people yeah. because sometimes people actually cry themselves to sleep from comments or um, observations that are said by other people to them. About their body yeah so yeah. Um, whatever it is own the good parts of your life own the bad parts of your life understand where they come into play mm. and please I always say this thing your privilege is important mm. don't say you don't have a privilege if your privilege is your beauty use it so no matter how mundane your privilege is to someone it is your privilege yeah. and if they have yeah, it, not, not apologize for it they will use it yeah, yeah. please don't apologize no. for it it is highly important so this conversation i like what victoria yama does on her page every mm. time because she doesn't just put out her beautiful self she's always putting captions that would help you especially when you're ready to listen because yeah. sometimes people follow these things but uh, they will still go and That's talk great. Mm. did i tell you by the way you're beautiful this morning Oh. That is how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank wow. you for watching. And remember, you can watch this conversation all over again by visiting our YouTube channel, Aflos TV Africa. Also, do remember to subscribe. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my flatish co anchor. <laughs> Beniak and my beautiful co anchor Ife Omai mm -hmm. and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa <laughs> Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. See you later. <laughs>